Hi everyone, this is Paul from the Outdoor Adventure and um, I just wanted to uh, do another stove. I know we've done a lot of stoves but um, this one I was looking at this for a while. I started to buy some Axe body spray and um, thought about how to reuse this bottle and turn it into a stove. I know we've seen a couple of Intense Angler has a really neat design and this is another one that's basically a double wall stove. If you remember those old Budweiser aluminum cans, they're not um, those double wall stoves that they made there. It's kind of the same concept. Now to a bit of background on how you uh, do this and what you're going to need. You're going to need a pair of pliers, you're going to need a saw for cutting, you're going to need a marker to mark the, the height so you can get a good uh, straight cut, a ruler, you're going to need a couple books. Cause these books are for um, for making marking the straight line. Now if you saw the uh, one of the other videos um, I did and uh, how a lot of people do it, you'll know what that's for. But just to start, in the Axe body spray, um, you can pop off this top. All right, you pop off the top. This one's full. I'm not going to do it now. And inside, you've got uh, a can that looks like this. Uh, what you'll want to do first is make sure you've got it completely empty, and uh, of all the uh, propellant and everything. Then you get a pair of pliers and you pop the top off, or you can cut it off along this rim if you don't feel like doing that. Inside, it's just a, a, an empty can at that point. Then what you're going to do is you're going to mark at six and a half inches from the bottom uh, a mark. Now, give me a second. All right. So we're going to do that from there to there. So this is six and a half. So just about six and a half. Then we get that mark. You want three books or a book and another piece of two books and a piece of wood. All right, gotta find out where that mark is and align that mark up. Are we on screenshot now? All right, so I got my mark on here. I'm gonna line that up with the uh, marker, the pen. I'm gonna put that there, and now I'm gonna use my two fingers to just spin this can. Alright, there it is. You got my straight line all the way around. And my next job is going to be, if you've got a vise, it can help, but to, to cut along this line. Now, the aluminum is, is much thicker on these uh, axe cans than it is on your pot can, obviously. So, a pair of scissors isn't going to cut it. Literally. So, we're just going to work on that and we're going to cut and we're going to use that guideline along the side here as we're going on. We're going to keep watch it so that we keep it straight all the way around. Now, I'm not going to film this part because it's a bit tedious, but I'll turn it back on when I finish cutting all the way around. Here's a little tip if you don't have a vise to uh, lock this up. What you, if you just follow that line and you saw and turn it so you're not cutting all the way through but most of the way through and your blade's not going to bind like you say if you're just using your hand it's going to wobble and that's going to cause the the, uh, the saw to bind and if you don't want that to happen just work away around cutting three quarters of the way through and what happens in the end is you're going to leave as a bit of a paper thin bit of Aluminum, which with a bit of pressure is going to break right through. Yeah, pop there. Now, of course, I did damage it a bit, so I'm going to have to run this edge around with this. I'm using my multi tool, you can use any strong edge and just work that out. That's going to be your next step. You just want to have this flared a tiny bit, not a lot, just enough so that you can slide this top part in. And this part, again, just get all the burrs off. If there's any imperfections, this one had a bit of a dent in it. Uh, as you, you can't see it so much here, but right there. Just going to flatten that out as 
just by squeezing in. There we go. And you're gonna slide these two together and you're gonna use a um, something flat. You can use a table if you want, just to push those in together. Alright? So it makes a good seal. Now before you do that, you're gonna want to make it mark another line for your jets. So you look at this, this is gonna to slide together, and this um, is gonna make the seal, this top edge that's the same width. And this part right here is where the gas is gonna build up. So to make sure you get your uh, your jets in the right place, you're gonna to want to mark another line just eyeballing it about half a centimeter down from this little lip right there and right there but I marked on this one and again I can now go back with my uh, my books and mark that line all the way around in a circle and I'm going to do that now alright so now you uh, you can see this line right around here and I'm just gonna mark vertically I'm gonna eyeball about every centimeter actually I'm gonna start with every centimeter and a half for this one because uh, it's the first time using it I'm gonna mark every centimeter and a half around there at, with a vertical line just so I know exactly where to drill the holes for the jets alright so now that I've marked these little cross piece uh, lines I'm gonna take my drill bit and I'm taking the smallest drill bit that I have and I'm gonna drill my holes in there. Wow. You can hear my kids outside. So we've got these all, all these holes cut, and um, the next job is going to be to put these two pieces together. All right. Um, sorry, before I do that, you're going to want to take a file if you have one or something that can get rid of these burrs on the inside of this can. Next, I'm going to take these two pieces. I'm going to press them together. Now you want this to be even, so. Uh, what some people will do is they'll take a piece of wood and they'll put that on top and then they'll hammer that flat down. But first I'm going to try running it like that. See just a bit of hand pressure on there and you've got this thing flattened in there and ready to go. So if you don't mind getting a dent in your table just hammer that there and uh, I flared this a bit too much so I'm just going to pinch it together. Sorry if this isn't extremely clear, but I figure I'd try it out on film to see how it works for the first time. Now hopefully that should have a good enough seal. We've given it about a centimeter worth of seal there to prevent it from uh, um, leaking. Now we're just gonna I'm gonna reset I'm gonna set this up differently. I'm gonna get some fuel out and I'm gonna see how it starts and see how it runs. Alright, this is gonna be the burn test. Get a but a bit of priming fill in the bottom. And um, I'm going to wait. Actually, let's include the time. All right, so there we go. Cold water, two cups. Um, now, as this uh, is going to look really big, flame pattern, but when uh, the, uh, the priming fuel in the bottom uh, disappears, then it's going to have a normal burn. Flames will go down a lot. Alright, just to give you guys a comparison, I'm going to put the uh, this one in front. Now, I'll put it beside, you can see it a bit better. The the cans, the uh, Axe can is bigger, it's thicker, and it's about three times as heavy. It's also an extra centimeter taller. Alright, so now you can see this, um, how it looks when it's just the pot. Uh, without the uh, priming fuel, it's a smaller uh, flame pattern, 
but um, but still a nice one. How many holes do I have in that? About um, 15 or 16 holes uh, in there. All right, so this was about uh, seven and a half minutes now to boil this water, not very fast. Uh, about uh, eight minutes if you include priming time. So um, there you go, that's uh, what you have there. I'm gonna blow it out. Tell you how much fuel I use to do that. So I use just under an ounce of fuel, I would say. Um, to do that. So uh, it's an okay stove. It does the job. Uh, it's recycling. Um, that way you don't have to buy all the other stuff, but you're going to have these bottles around, so you might as well give it a shot and use it. Mm -hmm.